Me and his fiance. <sighs> Confusing. Eh. The war is over. The Crimean people. You suffered gravely during the harsh day of occupation. Have at last regained their freedom. These same Crimeans have a say. No matter how harsh the winter, spring, and her fall. This popular proverb proves true as the warm winds of change begin to blow across the countryside. The war has left the country in ruins, but the people rise from the ashes and take the first step towards rebuilding their nation. Though once scorned and despised as subjugates, those put aside past enmity and come to the aid of their neighbors. And the Crimeans never forget it was Gallia that fought beside and helped free them from the yoke of gain oppression. Led by the examples of Valencia and her retainers, Crimea begins transforming into the land its king had dreamed of. A land where Bjork and Lagoons live together in harmony and equality. As the reconstruction efforts progressed, the administrative government announces the enthronement of Valencia as the new queen. And now, the day of her crowning arrives. Fate White. Meanwhile, Crimea Castle. I'm so tired, I could fall over. This is all well and good, but I'm sure it's busy. We're building a country. I was completely devastated by war. It's bound to be tough. Right. I'm a prince of Lancia and the people in the palace are twice as busy. Speaking of Lancia, what's she doing? She's in that room over there, surrounded by court officials. They seem really busy. I feel so sorry for her. As long as she's getting at least a little bit of rest, I'm not worried. She probably isn't. Maybe if I sang her a lullaby... Uh, oh no! I forgot! You forgot what? You dumb broad? I even now I went to race and... But I forgot all about the Galder! I... What should we do? Hey, yeah. We never did find out who Altina is, did we? She was the only one who could sing the Galder. Well, when things calm down, we'll have to head out and search for her. Is that Altina you speak of? One, one of three who defeated the Dark God? Hey! Sephron? So you made it, did you? I arrived mere moments ago. Let me congratulate you on a successful end to your journey. Thank you. Please tell me, do you know who Altina is? Of course. Altina founded my homeland of Begnion. Ha! Oh, then it was a mistake. We can't give we can't give a song to someone who died so long ago. Good job, Ike. There is one yet who shares both bloodline and name, the true heir of Altina. Who is it? Sonaki Kirsch Altina. None other than the Apostle herself. The the Apostle? Is this something everyone in Begnion would would be aware of? Huh. No, there are very few who know that name. Why do you ask? The Apostle is Altina. 
I'm so relieved! And exhausted too! I- I'm going back to my room! See you later! Severin! That was rather sudden. Did I say something to cause her distress? Mm, no, nothing like that. It's just that so much has happened between Bignon and Serenus and things and that and... Would you tell me about it? I would hear what you have to say on, on this matter. Sure. To tell the truth... Black? I see. The assassination of the Apostle. The Serenus Massacre. And the use of the medallion to revive the Dark God. All of it was part of Ashlar's grand scheme. That's the conclusion we came to. You have me at once. Why is that? For many years, I have walked these lands, watching, listening, and never did I uncover what you have found. <laughs> Whoa! Now that you have presented me with this information, why is the next story so slow? I don't know what to say. God damn it, events. I merely fulfilled the hopes of my, of my father and mother. Now you see, in hindsight, rescuing Princess Crimea, winning the Apostles' trust, and defeating King Dane. With the Lagoons at your side, no less. <laughs> You've accomplished all of these miraculous things. I had trusted in valiant companions at my side. It was only through their support that I was able to do these things. Oh, and Marsha, she was cool. Never the humble one, huh? Now then, before I return home, may I hear the Galder of release? I must convey it to the Apostle. You would do you would do that? None of you can, none of you can leave Crimea. The new queen will need your strength. Uh, I suppose that will be the case for a little while. Won't it? Mm -hmm. A little while. You are the hero of Crimea, General Ike. If you wish it, no post will be beyond your reach. I don't care about any of that. It's more trouble than it's worth. I don't see the value of being some fancy lord. Well, the country's safe. I'm giving up that title. And everything's and everything going, going back to being a simple mercenary. And he does that! <laughs> Truly. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Something strange? <laughs> yes. It's very... <laughs> um, I think that's enough. I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Unbelievable. Despite all appearances, you're really, you're really quite rude. Commander, may I have a minute? Sure. What is it, Tania? Princess Alencia, oops, it's Queen Alencia, isn't it? The court ministers want Queen Alencia and you to come out onto the balcony and greet the people. What? Greet the people? Me? Yes, you. I've done, I've done what I, what I was asked to do. Now hurry up and get going. Hey. Tania! Oh, nuts! Why do I? What's going on? The people of Crimea wish to see their hero and to sing his praises. Even if the hero himself protests. If they want a greeting, surely, surely their new queen, Alencia, would suffice. I'll go speak to her. Thus do heroes give birth. 
into new chapters in history. Like, I doubt if you've even noticed. Your story, the everyday mercenary who becomes a hero, will awaken ugly ap appetite and ambition in many. You will be the cause of strife and discord throughout the land. I'm certain Ashnarth saw the truth in this. In a way, Ashnarth's dream may have been fulfilled. The seeds of war have indeed begun and sown across the continent. It appears your trials are just beginning, my gallant young hero. May the goddess ride with you. Foreshadowing to the max.